Hello, my name is Kathleen Helen Listen. I'm a lymphedema therapist, meditation teacher, and health coach. Welcome to Self-Care for Clients with Chronic Illness. What are we missing? What do we do as health and wellness professionals when our clients seem unmotivated, disorganized, too busy, or helpless to participate in self-care for their chronic illnesses? Are we asking ourselves, what am I missing? What else is going on here? And whether we are just treating symptoms or really getting to the root causes of their illness. In the article, Inflammation, the Common Pathway of Stress-Related Diseases, researchers found that chronic inflammation is an essential component of chronic disease, and that stress is the common risk factor of 75 to 90% of diseases, including the diseases which cause the foremost morbidity and mortality. The most common stress-related diseases are cardiovascular diseases like hypertension and atherosclerosis, metabolic diseases like diabetes and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, and cancer. And what is the link? The researchers conclude that stress induces or worsens CVD, NAFLD, depression, neurodegenerative disease, and cancer through peripheral inflammation as well as neuroinflammation. Health and wellness professionals can help their patients by recognizing that stress reduction is a crucial part of ongoing self-care for chronic diseases. Chronic and toxic stress can make our patients so hyper aroused that they are angry, irritable, and unable to focus, or so hypo aroused that they feel hopeless, struggle to make decisions, and are unmotivated to practice self-care. Balancing our patient's level of arousal can enable them to stay in control of their chronic illness and make better decisions. Stress reduction will empower our patients to reduce the inflammation in their bodies and improve their levels of self-care. But stress reduction isn't as easy as giving a patient a one-page handout or one-size-fits-all cookie-cutter solution and expecting lasting change. Alka Gupta, co-director of Integrative Health at the Brain and Spine Institute at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York City says, that every form of stress reduction does require patience. Why is that true? We essentially have to learn how to change our response to situations in our environment, responses that may have evolved over decades of our lives. It's important to give our patients ongoing support and access to a variety of stress reduction resources.